This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Meredith Barrick and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Metro police have officially classified the death of a person whose burned body was found at an east side home as a homicide. Firefighters were called Wednesday morning to a home on North Drexel Avenue and found the body of a man that someone had covered in debris and tried to set on fire. Today, detectives tell us there was trauma to the man's body and that his death has been ruled a homicide. Police still have not released that man's identity. IU Health is working to reduce its carbon footprint, not only to save money, but to help improve public health across the state. The biggest energy guzzlers at IU Health facilities are the boilers and chillers in the basement. The company's energy team is replacing them with more efficient versions over the next few years. They're also installing $2 million worth of LED lights this year to cut electricity costs. The energy savings at Methodist Hospital alone is equivalent to removing 2,500 cars from the road. And the money they're saving is going back into patient care. So not only good medical outcomes, but also having you know, a good environment, a good healthy state for all of us to live in. And we feel like as the largest health care provider in the state of Indiana, we have a role to play in that. Similar energy saving programs will be rolled out at all 17 IU Health hospitals. Todd. All right, it's been a decent day for us across the area with warm temperatures and partly cloudy skies, but there is the risk of some isolated storms throughout the remainder of the day. And the Storm Prediction Center has a good chunk of the northern portion of the state and off to the east under the slight risk of severe weather. If you do see the storms, the main threat would be damaging wind and the potential for hail. There'll be some lightning there, some minor floodings possible. The rain would be very heavy if you saw it. The thing is, these storms are moving through pretty quick, uh, so we probably aren't going to see any widespread flooding with it. Now, true cast is not really picking up on how numerous I think the storms will be, but you kind of get the idea that they'll be pretty isolated as we run through this evening and into the overnight hours. There certainly could be some thunderstorms with some locally heavy downpours and a little bit of lightning. But other than that, it's a good forecast going forward with temperatures tomorrow. Meredith climbing all the way up into the 80s. Todd, thank you for more weather and stories you need to know. Download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.